Well, hello there, good people of the world. It's the Big Heavy back with the EcoFlow Delta 2. And usually I do my Will It Latte test. Today I'm gonna expedite that a little with the Will It Americano test. And instead of my usual overly elaborate Braville espresso machine, I have a Nescafe uh, capsule coffee maker here. In case you care, it uses these little aluminum coffee pods. It's going to create a long coffee. This is one of the larger pods, so it's gonna work that boiler pretty hard. It's gonna draw a pretty significant amount of power from the EcoFlow, I would assume. And this particular machine also has a weird centrifuge feature, which I don't know if that actually does anything for the coffee, but it's going to spin this guy around. So there's gonna be some motors running. So we got heat, we got motors, we're gonna make a whole bunch of noise. We should put a pretty good draw on the EcoFlow. And I've got the little picture in picture ready to go. So we'll pull that up and you can see how that power draw works. I again have not tried this particular power bank with this particular size coffee machine. I did make an espresso once and it passed with flying colors, but this is about 3x the size of a traditional espresso. So it should be running the boilers a little longer, should work that, uh, that EcoFlow a little bit harder and we'll see what happens. So I'll start out with the mobile app. I'm gonna turn on the AC outputs of the EcoFlow. Right now they are not on. And if you watch my full EcoFlow Delta II review, you'll see You'll see a complete test, you'll see me describe everything, and you'll see a little bit of the app action. If you haven't watched that yet, it is pretty nice. You can turn all the outputs on and off, which is, uh, is pretty helpful. So I've gone into my outputs. I am clicking on the AC. When you hit the button, it does take a half second to respond. But now that guy's on, and you can see the battery life estimate has gone down a little bit. That's typical. The inverter, which turns the battery's DC power into AC, has a little bit of a draw just to kind of keep itself alive. So that's, uh, that's going, and right now it's drawing zero watts. As soon as I open up this Nespresso machine, it's going to start heating the boilers, I believe. So we'll see what the power draw looks like. So I've got my pod inserted in there, and we are starting to pull some power. Right now it looks like it's pulling out just shy of 1600 watts, so that's a pretty good draw. Let's get the coffee going and see what happens. You can presumably hear those fans. They are uh, working pretty hard. And now we're back to 1200 watts, as you can see in the picture in picture. So I'm kind of surprised how variable this is. It's going between 60 watts and like 1500 watts. I don't know if you can hear it, but the EcoFlow is doing a pretty good job of keeping the fans from spinning up. They did spin up quite a bit in the beginning when it was really drawing a lot of power, I assume, to heat up the boilers. But now it's kind of taking a little pull of 12, 1300 watts and then going back to like 50, 60 watts. So I assume that lower wattage is to run the motor while those hits of you know 1200 watts are to get the boiler going and keep the hot water flowing. But I'm actually pretty surprised how quiet the Delta II is right now. One of my big complaints, if you watch the long review is the, or the charging review, the fans spin quite a bit when it's really putting out a lot of power. When you're doing the rapid charging, they you know, sound like a jet, jet plane about to take off. But right now, I actually can't really hear the Delta II above the noise of the coffee maker. So a cup of coffee is finishing up. You can see what we've got here. It may or may not look like a pint of Guinness, which is always amusing on a conference call, but EcoFlow passed the uh, Willet Americano test with flying colors. You know, you did hear the, those fans spin up at the beginning when the coffee maker was pulling out 1600-ish watts, which isn't a surprise, that's getting close to the limit of its inverter but didn't choke, didn't die, didn't uh, flip the brake or anything. And what really impressed me was when it was going through the end of that brew cycle where it was you know, pulling 60-ish watts, I think, to spin the motor and jumping up to 1200 watts to 
run the heating element and it really didn't spin up the fans in, in any particular level and it didn't do what some of the other power banks power banks do which is really annoying where the fans going up and down and up and down you've got this sort of variable warbling fan noise which I think is frankly more annoying than just having a fan on at a constant speed. So EcoFlow Delta 2 will indeed keep you in the coffee pod coffee during the zombie apocalypse or whatever disaster heads your way. In my opinion this is probably the unit you want to be putting at the top of your shopping list if you're looking for a thousand watt hour battery bank. And with that, it's the Big Heavy saying cheers. Not bad. Ever wonder why every talking head on YouTube asks you to hit the like and subscribe button at the end of their video? You are right, because we're living in a computer simulation. And our benevolent robotic overlords get just a little bit of energy every time you hit that like. So do me, the rest of civilization, and our benevolent robotic overlords a favor. Mash that subscribe, be kind to each other, keep living your simulated dreams.